Hello, it is I, Ace Trainer Ryan. Welcome back, everybody. And we have another ASL match for you guys. Uh, we did come out on top in our playoff match last week. If you haven't seen that video, I definitely recommend it. It was a real banger. But in this one today, we have a new challenge. And what a challenge it is. This is a notorious rival that we've battled many times of the name of Badass Frost Lass and his team, the Indiana Tracers. And we have a little history with this coach. Um, so far, he has been the only coach to knock us out of playoffs. He's done it twice already. Doesn't mean we're not going to give it a shot. Now, he's 11-1, and one, only taking one loss in the regular season. Very impressive. Um... You could, we've only taken one loss as well, however, he has played more matches than we have since we took the team over. So, looking at his team, it's very threatening. You have the offensive bulk of Celesteela there, very annoying Pokemon, Leech Seed Protect, stuff like that. Kamo-O, which has every conceivable way of setting up in front of your face. You have Scolipede, capable of baton passing speed boost and swords dance, or, well, one or the other. He has to pick one, but very, very difficult mon to deal with. Dogtrio, Trapper in charge. The Slurpuff. Now, the Slurpuff is a demon. We had That is the Pokemon. <laughs> that is the Pokemon that has squashed our hopes and dreams more than once, and it is here once again, so... Definitely not looking forward to fighting that unburdened monster. We have Lantern, which at first you look at Lantern and you don't think it's all that great, but when you put in this coach's background, he drafts this Pokemon like 90% of the time, which means he really knows how to use it. He really knows what he wants to do with it. Next up, we have Drifblim, which is his... Probably, I'm going to say it's his go-to Dynamax Mon. He has Dynamaxed others, but I feel like Drifblim is the strongest Dynamax in the ASL. And yeah, you heard it here. I feel like Drifblim is the strongest Dynamax Pokemon in the ASL. Having Stab, Max, Airstream, I feel like that's just too much on any Pokemon that uh, can Dynamax. It's very strong. Next up, we have the Galar Linoon. Uh, very fast with uh, Toxic Orb Quick Feet, potentially. Uh, parting shot, very annoying facade, knockoff, just a little bit of an annoying Pokemon. I'm not expecting it to come, but it definitely could. We have a secondary Dynamax, the Marowak. Marowak is very strong, but I feel like he likes to um, baton pass like speed boost and stuff in that uh, to help it set up, uh, obviously to make up for Marowak's very slow speed. And then we have Coughing, the uh, defensive monster. Uh, T-Spikes, Levitate, Neutralizing Gas, Will-O-Wisp. There's not much else to say about coughing. Pretty much does the same thing as wheezing. So, today, people, today we have the best team that we think will uh, combat his squad. Um, first up, we have Clarity the Masharna. And this set is basically just trying to absorb hits. Um... We should eat up hits from everything on his team, but one of the main things that we need to take hits from are Kamo'o, um, Scolipede, Dugtrio, stuff like that. If we can pop those frail Pokemon on his team for good damage and Moonblast, good chip, then we're looking good all around. Uh, Kamo'o doesn't really have a good way to attack Masharna. Its best way is to set up and hit us with uh, uh, Stab Dragon type moves, I would guess. But we have Moonblast, Baton Pass, Calm Mind, and Moonlight. Hopefully we can get some Calm Mind set up and send them out to our many special attackers. Um, Kasibberry, just because like I didn't have a better item to put on this, so I figured uh, with Kasibberry we, and uh, even Max Defense, we'd be able to take a Max Phantasm from Drifblim if he's Flare Boost with Flame Orb. So yeah, that's that's pretty dope. Um, I do believe we should be able to take one if he's not Flare Boost. If he brings something like the Citrus Berry Unburden set, um, we should be able to take one uh, plus one Max Phantasm. Um, but that's not going to be great for much. It's going to be good for Calm Mining, Baton Passing a Calm Mind out, uh, potentially Baton Passing into something that could take it on. 
or uh, Moon Blasting for some chip. Musharna is not really going to do much damage to Driftblim, but it is going to take the hit. And I'm actually going to skip over Kiram for a second and head to Dynablade or Skarmory. I meant to do this Pokemon first because this is going to be our designated lead. It's a uh, Rocky Helmet with uh, Body Press, Roost, Stealth, Rock, and Whirlwind. So Rocky Helmet to take hits from those physical attackers like Skullipede, Komo'o, um, Marowak potentially. Um, to get a little bit of chip on those guys. Um, I definitely want to lead and get rocks turn one. Absolutely. Because you look at his team and the only defogger he has is Drift Blim. And I highly doubt the role that Driplim has been playing. I highly doubt defensive with Defog and Heavy Duty Boots is going to come. I feel like it's definitely going to be uh, Citrus Berry or Flame Orb. And with Stealth Rock, we'll instantly get 25% off that monster as soon as it hits the field. Which will be awesome for, um, you know, Dynamax Pokemon in general. You get 25% off their health. They're a lot easier to manage. But uh, Body Press and Whirlwind just make it so we don't get set up for nothing versus uh, stuff like Scolipede. So I can set Stealth Rock on Scolipede when Scolipede wants to set up a Sword Stance. And if it wants to attack me, um, it can't do much to Skarmory, so I can Whirlwind it out. Or if it wants to pass the boost into something, that will get Whirlwinded out as well. So basically, the turn will go like Stealth Rock. Whirlwind if he leads Scullipede, which I could see is a potential lead for him. Um, Body Press just good chip on everything except for Drift Blim. Um, however, I don't fear Drift Blim the most, and the reason I say that is because he can't set up on Skarmory with Calm Minds and Dynamax at the same time. Dynamax is the only way Whirlwind doesn't work on him. So absolutely, we click Whirlwind on Drift Blim, even if he Dynamaxes. The point is to make him Dynamax. We don't want him setting up on Skarmory with Calm Minds. Because once that thing starts getting set up with Flare Boost and Calm Mind, it can become a very scary monster. Um, next up, we have Permafrost Arcurum. Uh, we're running the tried and true Choice Specs Kiram. Um, you look at his team, he does not have a freeze-dry resist at all. The best thing to uh, eat up ice moves on his team is actually a Spadef Celesteela, which I'm definitely expecting to come, because Kiram is a huge threat for his team. It's got enough natural bulk that it's going to take hits from Doug Trio. It might live a Stone Edge, I'm not sure. Um, but it's going to take hits, um, take neutral hits very well. Um, and then firing back with Specs, Ice Beam, Specs, Freeze Dry. It's going to be really strong. Um, the, the other two moves are kind of just filler. Kiram's going to be here to be a very strong offensive threat. Next up, we have Ride On, our uh, Dynamax this week. How do I know it's going to be our Dynamax? Because it stops Strip Limb in its tracks. Um, with max HP, max Spadef, we live a max Phantasm under any circumstance. Um, he could be packing Icy Wind for max Hailstorm, but honestly, I don't think it really matters that much. EV Light making us extremely bulky already. Adamant Nature, um, Stone Edge, max Rockfall will do like something like 83% min. That added with the stone, with the uh, rocks damage, will 100% knock out Drift Blim every time. I just stuck Ice Punch on there just for... I don't know, his crazy ice weakness maybe. <laughs> um, Earthquake and Dragon Tail, just uh, other good coverage moves that I could see for, you know, other things on his team. But this is really just a counterplay for his Dynamax, and that's what it's going to be used for. Next up, we have Aquafina, or Primarina. And uh, I'm running a. Oh, these AVs are actually wrong. Hold up, let me fix this. I actually know what they're, they're actually supposed to be Spadef. And the reason we're running 220 Spadef Calm and 248 HP is that if he is running a max Spadef Celesteela like I expect, um, it can't break our substitute with Air Slash. So basically, Primarine is in. With 40 speed, we should outspeed unless he has speed. We should outspeed Celesteela. Get the substitute up can't break it with air slash so we're good to calm mind and substitute in front of Celesteela's face and not fear 
anything from leech seed or air slash flinch or anything like that. And then once we get up a couple boosts, Scald and Moonblast is going to hurt his team severely. So I definitely see Primarina being a huge threat if we can keep it alive and safe. Next up we have Short Circuit, our Rotom Mo. I'm putting a lot on this little guy this week, um, but I really love using um, Choice Scarf Rotom Mo. Absolutely love it. So of course we'll outspeed quite a few things on his team. We'll outspeed Marowak at plus two. Um, we'll outspeed Celesteela. We pretty much outspeed everything uh, besides Scolipede with some with some uh, boosts up. Uh, we outspeed Ditrio, stuff like that. Um, but it's really this is a really good like hindrance because for Will-O-Wisp we can burn stuff like Kamo'o, Scarf Will-O-Wisp we can burn Kamo'o, Scolipede, Dugtrio. Even getting a burn on Celesteela is good because we essentially cancel out its leftovers recovery. And Trick Choice Scarf is a really good set because if we can trick a Choice Scarf onto Slurpuff, if we can trick a Choice Scarf onto Celesteela, those Pokemon are really going to hate uh, having that scarf on them. But yeah, they're really going to hate having a scarf on those Mons. Uh, so I'm hoping that we can hinder that. And even after our Choice Scarf is gone, we can feel free to switch between our moves, which is kind of freeing uh, versus something like Lantern. Because um, I'm expecting him to run Water Absorb, honestly. If I was if I was kind of honest with you guys, but Volt Absorb could definitely come out because I feel like he knows Rotom's going to come. It's one of my best ways to take out Celesteela. Um, it's one of my best ways to deal with Lantern. Um, Scarf Thunderbolt into Drift Blim is going to hurt a lot. <laughs> so um, Scarf Leaf Storm would blow Marowak back. So Rotom Mo is really working out as a very good Pokemon this week. Now, now I've told you what's going to happen. This match is going to be very hard. He is a, an extremely good battler. When he wants to have fun, he beats people because he wants to have fun. When he says he's going to do something, he does it. Um, I've seen the man say, I'm going to 6-0 this guy, and he 6-0'd him. Um, to me, this is the finals. This is the finals. Um, I don't want to shortchange anybody else in the ASL, but I wholeheartedly believe that this is the best battler in the league. I do. I really do. Um, he's a great friend of mine, so I might be a little biased there, but I've seen this guy battle so much, and he he is very, very smart, and he loves strategy, and I'm really going to have to pull out all the stops, make the right calls, make the right predictions, and all of that together, I might win. So, we love to see it, guys. I'm glad you guys are cheering on the Augusta Agrons in the playoffs of the ASL. I'm super excited to have every one of you here, and uh, we'll get right into the match. Later. All right, guys, welcome to the match. I'm nervous, but I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Let's get right into it. Ooh, gotta stay calm, gotta keep my head. All right, so literally the six that I prepped against. No Marowak. No Marowak, no High Noon. So I think we're fine to just lean out Skarmory. We need to get these rocks up. For the Skullipede, for the Drift Blim. Uh, rocks damage on Slurpuff and Lantern is always nice. Doesn't really matter too much on Steela. He does leave Bugsy Moogs. So I think all in all we're just going to get our rocks immediately. He's going to spike on us. Oh boy. Alright. Could go ahead and Brave Bird. But if I Whirlwind out, should be just fine. Um, I feel like he wants a second layer, so I'm going to Brave Bird him. Yeah. And now we'll Whirlwind him out. So I feel like he might uh, baton pass something now. So spikes was something that I uh, t spike was something that I did not prep against. That sucks. Um, 
that really sucks. All the endeavor, no. So, Bugsy Mugs is dead on switch in. Uh, versus this, I really hate. So, Hindenburg comes in, takes the 25. That's awesome. So, I feel like we whirlwind immediately. Just so he doesn't set up in front of us. Um, Shadow Ball. If he's scarfed, I feel like Kiram still takes any hit. Kiram to Drift Blim. I just want to make sure that there's nothing he can kill us with if he maxes. We should be okay to live anything. Um, but just in case... I'm going to go out into Rotom. I feel like that's the better play. Um, so expecting Lantern to want to switch in here. I'm going to Leaf Storm. Um, if he Flamethrowers or Icy Winds or Airstreams, good, good play. He goes out into Socrates here. So that was a good play. He resists both stabs. Um... We can go out into Musharna, I feel. If he sets up, we'll be able to live any hit. I think we should live even like a plus one uh, outrage from him. He thunder punches. We eat that up. So expecting Prim to come in. That makes sense. Absolutely makes sense. I um, feel like he might just sack Scolipede here. Um, let's see, he would send something in, will we baton pass and then he sends something out? I don't know. I'm going to calm mind once. Yep, figuring that would happen. Okay. So I think we're fine with Kasibberry, even if he max Phantasms at plus one, we should be fine. Um... So with this, he could be Baton Pass. Um, shoot. No, not Baton Pass. He could be Belly Drum. Um, if he is, we're in a bad position here. Let me see. Slurpuff. Do we lose if we just attack him right now? Um, I'm worried because uh, he could mess us up. Um, yeah. Frick, man. Um, I'm gonna Moonblast on him. He is the Calm Mind variant. Okay. That's good. So he should be Calm Mind Keyberry. Um, I'm gonna Baton Pass. Let me see if Kiram Flash Cannon into this takes it out. Specs will be at plus one. Give him plus two spadef. Um, 61%. It should. Put him at max HP. Yeah, it should. Flash cannon should still take him out. Come on, Kiram. You got this, buddy. You got this. And it's gone. All right, great. So we don't get swept by that. Fantastic. Downside is we are spexed into Flash Cannon here. Um, flash Cannon into Socrates. Kamo. -o. I just want to see if the damage is just worth going for. We are plus one. It's 52 to 61. Um, what did we see from this? We only saw Thunder Punch. I wonder if he's like random scarf. Like, wouldn't that be nuts? Um, I'm gonna go Musharna. Close combats, it's fine. So he could really be scarfed. Um, possibly. Uh... I'm gonna, just going to Moonlight in case he does switch, which he does, which is nice. I 
I think we baton pass out into a uh, short circuit. Oh, he's autonomized. No. All right, think. Think, bro. What always slaps this thing? Um, if we go Hindenburg, if we go the horn right now, Celestila. I'm just really worried because, like, I wasn't planning for this. Celestila plus two speed. He comes in at 226. Where's Rotom at? Oh, he's speed tied with Rotom if he's modest. Oh, that's crazy. I can't. Oh, I can't risk it. Okay. We're at 100%. I should be fine to go out and trick him. Um, and the reason, because I live a flamethrower, I'm going to trick, I'm going to trick, I'm going to trick. Okay, we're, we were faster, he's going to flamethrower, so we got an expert belt now, which is fine, we can save this. Gonna hard out in the Aquafina. So we're looking good because this thing is now a choice scarfed uh, Celestila with flamethrower. So we know he's like not a uh, spidef because like um, he, he's running a Totemize. So probably not Lee Seed Protect. That's fine for us. I really hope we live this. Like, I really hope we live this. Um, Komo'o. Komo'o. Let's say he's, like, fully offensive, right? And Prim. Let's give him... So, since he revealed Thunder Punch, I'm gonna say he doesn't have Poison Jab. I'm gonna pray on that. I'm gonna Moonblast him. I feel like we Moonblast. Fine, Lantern comes out. Lantern's here. I feel like we sack short circuit now. Because he can volt switch. It won't kill us. He could bring Celesteela out. He could flamethrower. But I feel like we just let this go down. Um short circuit should uh outspeed Komo'o. I'm pretty sure we're running timid. Pretty sure. Little Einstein comes out. Um, could just go you. Yeah, I don't see why we don't just go Clarity right now. Oh, that did a lot. So we can sack this. He locked himself into Flash Cannon. Oh, that's so bad for us. Oh, that's so bad for us. So he's Flash Cannon. Wait, that might not be bad. Because that's neutral for Primarina. Let's slide him that Flash Cannon. So he's probably Air Slash Flamethrower Flash Cannon. That's probably his set. And if it is, he will break a substitute on Aquafina, which is upsetting. Um, I'm just going to Baton Pass in case he switches out. Right, wouldn't have a reason to. He's plus one. He's plus one. Scald into him. It's gonna do a lot. Um, he's plus one special attack. We're at 88. It's the play to Scald. No, because he can just double out into Rotom. See, this is bad for us. This is so bad. I feel like we need to max, but like, it that's here for Hindenburg as well. Well, we should outspeed Hindenburg with, yeah, I feel like we max now. I feel like we max, and with the horn, uh, Flash Cannon's gonna do a lot, but if we max on him, Max Flare should take him out. Um... 
Yeah, I'm going to go for it. I felt like we had to, so please kill. Please kill. Yes. I don't think that crit mattered. The roll was 77 to 91, but I don't know his set, so that's um, max offense. Yeah, that's auto my set. All right, we should live. Like, I'm praying we live. And I'm going to rock fall. Strength sap. That's not good. Do we kill? Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. What? I don't live now. No way I live. No way I live. But he can't, uh, he can't airstream. He can't get a speed boost. So, so this is okay. This is okay. Wait, he does because he's unburdened. Oh, no, I'm, it's over. It's over. Oh, he max guarded. What? So he just wanted to make sure I didn't live. Uh, dude. Is it really? I have to check to see if Prim can live a hit, but I doubt it can. Drift Blim. Let's do Calm Mind. Let's throw the plus two on you. Okay, if he's max lightning, if he's max lightning, he just takes us out. So, um, we'll see. Um, I feel like we ice punch so we don't miss, but he's just going to kill us, yeah. So it is on, send you out to die. Um, that might be a misplay. You live coming out again. You live one more turn. That's good for Lantern. I'm going to pray to God I live. I'm going to pray to God I live. Um, Moonblast is the play. Please live. Please live. Please live. Yes! Aquafina tanking! No thunder. Great. That crit might have mattered. It was 23 to 27. Great. Great. I think we got it. Because Kiram, uh, Kiram uh, freeze dry seals the deal. I think. Yeah. Yeah, it should be. Unless it's scarfed, uh, Scarf Kamo'o. But even then, I feel like close combat doesn't kill. Yeah, we're at 82%. Let me see. See, Kamo'o. Like, like random, right? Like random, random scarfed. Close combat in the Kiram. If those mattered, Matt, I'm so sorry. I got lucky as heck. If, if, if those crits actually mattered, I'm very sorry. Close combat? No, it will kill us. It will kill us. If he's scarfed. Well, that's with life orb. I haven't seen an item on this yet. <sighs> um... Yeah, I feel like Rotom matters, so we just Moonblast. Oh, are you scarfed, bro? Alright, we're gonna see if he's scarfed right now. I'm gonna see if he's scarfed right now. Do I Will-O-Wisp or do I attack? I feel like with Rotom... Yeah, we Will-O-Wisp. Come on, hit. He is scarfed. He's scarfed. He's scarfed. We're timid. He scarf. That's GG. Dang, that's GG. <laughs> I was so close. I was so close. Oh, I was so close. Oh, I was so close. Dang, Scarf Kamoa pulled it out for him. <sighs> Dang. Scarf Kamo'o for the win. Oh, so he knocks us off of playoffs. Oh, that was so close. Oh, dude. If he was any other item but Scarf on this. If he was any other... If he was any other item. So, he, yeah, he was... So, it's apparently he was, like, Scarf for Tauros. Oh, my God. Pro, any other item. God. Almost had that.
That was such a good battle. Oh, that was such a good battle. Any other item but Scarf in that battle was mine. Oh, man. Oh, man. That was crazy. That was crazy. Show team. Hide stats. I don't know if that's how you do it. Alright guys, I'm gonna let y'all go and I'm going to uh, chat with Badass Frost last, but uh, Draft Leagues ain't over, SPC starts in a week, so keep your eyes out for that footage. Bye bye